two, one. Launching into space. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavor. And parking with precision. Houston Endeavor captured, confirmed. Takes more than a year of intense training. Should be bolt number two. Learning to walk in space means first learning to walk in water. We're here at the world's largest swimming pool, 6.2 million gallons of water, 40 times bigger than an Olympic uh, size swimming pool, 40 feet deep. This, though, is NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory. This is where astronauts and divers work together to simulate space. What you're looking at here is the International Space Station. Uh, over here is the new Japanese module that they're building, the laboratory, with its own arm. Julie Payette will be uh, managing those arms from up here in the control room. This is as close as these astronauts will get to outer space. All right, so guys, I'll be reaching over. Canadian astronaut Julie Payette is the robotic operator on this mission. It is a critical role. She directs her crew members, including astronaut Dave Wolf. I get to fly with you. Chris Cassidy is also preparing for his water walk. Julie is in constant contact with her spacewalkers. It is essential for crew safety. Tell me what happens from here on in. It's five or six times in the pool for each one of the spacewalks. They will put weights around the spacesuit to make it neutrally buoyant. And that is as close as we can get to simulating weightlessness. So these guys then go down and actually do work like if they were in space. One of the most important things about doing a spacewalk is to make sure that one, you as a person is always attached to the space station via a tether and that everything you use, every little tool you use is tethered to you or tethered to the station. We have several types of tethers, big, small, big hooks, small hooks, uh, retractable here or uh, here's a, uh, an adjustable type and uh, you learn how to manipulate these with the big hockey type gloves that you have on the spacesuit. Before you take it out of a secure location, you will always tether that object, always everything attached at any point, otherwise it becomes a satellite of its own. So we've seen where Julie and her fellow astronauts train for spacewalks. This is the crew compartment trainer. Now this is where they train on how to enter and exit the space shuttle safely, just in case of an emergency. This module actually goes vertical to simulate what it's like pre-launch, but it's one of several modules like this. This is the shuttle motion base simulator. And here comes Julie to show us how it works. It's very exciting. Oh, my goodness. It is goodness. exciting. Actually, we're going to fly. This is a fully hydraulic simulator. The switches are all functional, and the software that runs here is the real flight software. So if we find a glitch during training, it would be a glitch that we would find in flight. OK, I need you to go up there and arm that button. OK. Please. Press the arm? Yeah. I'm about to land, yeah. And now, gear, gear. Gear. Next to it. Next to the right. Look outside. And we're landing. We just landed. <laughs> Is that the way you talk to each other when the shuttle's really landing? Press the gear button. Yeah. Is the commander says, and here we go, we're at Kennedy Space Center. The commander says 3,000 gear, 3, k gear arm. And at 300 feet, he will say gear down. And then the pilot presses that button. And if they don't, I hit them with my stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't throw it throughout the chute. <laughs> this will help. <laughs> so the rest of you are going to go the end of the runway. runway. I know. <laughs> I'm breaking. Nice and now job. you say Houston, wheel stop. Houston, wheel stop. Thank you. Here we go. Julie and her crew will train until every move is second nature, building the trust and the confidence critical to the success of their mission.